All right, StreamYard users, let's talk about Stream Deck. While you guys were not looking, StreamYard has added something that's gonna revolutionize, change the way that you do live streams. It's going to simplify your workflow, make it so much easier for you to do a live stream, and that is Stream Deck integration. If you have never heard of a Stream Deck, this is the video that you wanna watch. I'm gonna show you kind of what a Stream Deck is, how to use it, how to connect it with StreamYard, and show you the ways that this is going to change your workflow make things easier for you. And we will do all of that right after this. Just hit record. So welcome into the channel, everyone. My name is Ken. This is Just Hit Record. Just Hit Record is my YouTube channel where I like to give you tips and tricks, Q and A's, encouragement, advice, anything that I can do to help you break that fear of creating content to get over whatever it is keeping you from creating and just hit that record button get your content out there. I think everybody has a message. Everybody has a reason to create content. I want to help you get yours out there. So again, in this video, I want to talk about StreamYard and the new Stream Deck integration. If you've been a StreamYard user for any amount of time, you have either been waiting for StreamYard to integrate the Stream Deck, or you didn't know this existed and they've dropped it in your lap now. It's about to change the way you do things and I'm going to show you a few reasons why. Now, if you're into this type of content, if you are a content creator, if you're a live streamer, if you do anything tech related for content, if you create content in any way, if you want to see more content like this, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. That will make sure that you see every video that's released. This is what I do here. Also, if you don't mind hitting that like button, that like button does so much more than you know, as far as helping the channel, helping this channel get out there, this video get out there so that more creators are able to see this. Hopefully this video helps you or it helps somebody else. In this case, for the specific video, streamline the way that you're doing live streaming with StreamYard. So let's jump right into it. I wanna walk through just a few ways of using Stream Deck with StreamYard, kind of give you the basic setup for how to use it. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will be able to use Stream Deck to change your live streams. First of all, if you haven't seen the Stream Deck yet, there are three different versions of it. There is a six key Stream Deck Mini. There's a 15 key Stream Deck, which I have. There's also a 32 key Stream Deck XL. I will put all of those links down in the description if you wanna pick one of these up. I've got the 15 key, so that's what we're gonna show here. Now, when you first set up your Stream Deck, you go through the setup instructions from the box, follow those, you will have your software installed. This is where we're gonna start. So we have the software installed. Now, one thing that I love about Stream Deck is all the different options you can do. So what I've done is created a profile. You can create as many profiles as you want, and basically a profile is going to be your ways of using the keys. So you can see here, I just changed this to just stream with me. I've got a profile set up already for this. So just to kind of give you an idea of what you can typically do with a stream deck, using my streaming platform, I'm able to use this. If I press this, this is a multi-action key that will take me to a blank screen, to my countdown screen, go live. I can go to a solo camera, a two interview camera. These are different scenes that I have set up and I can end a stream, I can take YouTube comments off the screen, share different things, really, really helpful. For this video, I've created a Stream Deck profile. So basically we have a blank profile, we have a clean slate where we're starting. So when you first set up your Stream Deck, your first profile is gonna have a welcome screen. If you press the button on your Stream Deck, which I'm doing now, I'll show you that in just a second, it's gonna bring you to Elgato's website. This is gonna take you so that you can see kind of their help files and stuff like that. Very useful when you're first setting that up. Okay, now what I wanna focus on is StreamYard. So let's go back to StreamYard. I do have a stream set up, an unlisted stream to the channel, and I have my stream deck here that we're gonna to use to demonstrate. Here's the button that I said that I pressed to go to the website. When you press that, it goes to the website, it's that simple. So what we wanna do is set up StreamYard to use and work with this stream deck. The way that you do that, is in your studio, when you're in your StreamYard studio, you're gonna to go to settings and you see a new feature here now on the side that says hotkeys. If you press hotkeys, you're gonna now see a bunch of different features and things that you can use within StreamYard by using keys on your keyboard. Now I'm using a Mac, you would set up hotkeys just based on your keyboard, what makes sense. StreamYard has already detected I have a Mac, so they've got the standard stuff here. So. Just a list quickly of kind of the things you can do. We have mute, unmute mic, camera on off. So, you know, typically that's where you'd be down here. If you are in the middle of a stream and need to mute or whatever, instead of having to click on your screen now, you can set up a hotkey to do that for you. So command D, if we set up this command D hotkey, it'll do two things for you. You can now press command D on your keyboard to do that. 
And then you can take that further by linking that command D sequence to the stream deck, which I'm going to show you in a second. So then all you have to do is press a button on the stream deck to mute your mic, to turn your camera on off. And as we go down through here, we have share screen, share video. So those correlate with those functions in StreamYard. Go live and end broadcast, which for a stream deck, this may be my favorite part of live streaming because you can now quickly right in front of you, press a button to start your stream, to end your stream. We go down, now we have layouts. We have our different camera layouts. So you have your solo layout, your crop layout. These just kind of correspond with the features on StreamYard that are already there. They just allow you to set up hotkeys for them. So your screen layout, picture in picture, all kinds of different things. Navigation, we have comments tab, banners tab. So these would be your features over on the side to get to those individual places. Some of these are already set for you. Command D is set for mute, unmute mic. You can keep that or you can change that simply by clicking the window here. And when you click it, it's gonna tell you press keys and you would just press those keys on your keyboard. I'm just gonna keep it at Command D. I think that's simple. I'll keep all these as default. Now go live is not set, so you can set that. To set that, all you would have to do is click in the box, Command L. We'll do that, Command L. It can be whatever you want it to be. I'll just go Command L for live and then in broadcast, we will go Command B for broadcast. So now that I've set these, again, I'll be able to link these to the stream deck so I can just press a button to go live and in the broadcast instead of having to click the top of the screen. So that's the setup. Those are the keys in StreamYard. Now we need to set these up with the Stream Deck. So very simple to do. I'm going to go back. Okay, so now we are looking at the Stream Deck. Now, in order to get those keys on the Stream Deck, we need to go back to our Stream Deck options and set up these individual keys. So you will see, and I'll show you in a second, as you set up the keys on your Stream Deck, these are going to directly correspond with your Stream Deck. The images that show up on the buttons will go to the Stream Deck. Very awesome tool. Now, the way that we set these up with StreamYard is we need to use system hotkeys. So if you go over to the right side, you're gonna see a system drop down hotkey, and you simply click and drag that onto the button. So we're gonna set up the first hotkey. We'll set this one up to go live. So for title, I'm gonna type go live. To assign the hotkey, you click the button, and we're just gonna put in Command L because Command L is what we set up to go live. Now you can change your pictures. You can create your own icons. You can use the Stream Deck icon library. We'll pick one. We'll go ahead and change it. And we will just go with, uh, I don't know, we'll pick something random. Uh, we'll go with the light bulb. But you can set this to whatever you want. You can make your own icons very easily. All right, so now we have a go live button. Let's set up a end broadcast button. I'm going to do that down in the corner because I don't want to accidentally hit that. I want that to be in a specific place so that I know where that's at. We're going to end broadcast click to assign we did that as command b so now anytime that i press this button in the bottom corner this will end my broadcast all right so we also had let's see what other options did we have mute unmute my camera on off command d command e so we'll go back and set these up let's drop our hotkey here this is going to be mute unmute and the keystroke for that was command d all right, now that button is set, and let's do the camera. That was Command E, so we're going to cam on off. And we're gonna do Command E. Now we have those hotkeys set up, so now we're able to go live. We can mute, unmute the mic, turn the camera on and off. We can end the broadcast. Okay, so let's go live. Let's go live using Stream Deck. Instead of clicking the button up in the corner, we will use the button we've created on the Stream Deck. So go live. We're going to press right there. And as you can see in the upper corner, this did work. Now we need to press it again. It's letting me know that it will not be recorded because I am not paying for a plan. And it says Command L again to go live. Hey, let's just press our hotkey again. Go live. So now we are going live on StreamYard. All right, we are live. We do have our other buttons that we did create. So we have our mute, unmute. Again, you can see in the bottom as I press mute, unmute, that's gonna happen with the mic. As I press our camera button that we created, it's going to stop and start the camera. So at this point, you conduct your live stream. You do your stream just like you normally would using the buttons you set up on the stream deck. I can promise you this is gonna make your streaming experience so much easier, so much better. You go through your stream, you've had fun, now you're done. We're gonna end the broadcast. So we're just going to press the end broadcast button that we created. So end broadcast. 
Again, are you ready to end the broadcast? Press command B again. We'll just press the button again and the broadcast is ending. So using StreamYard exactly like you are used to using StreamYard, now using the Stream Deck, so much easier. And again, so many different options for hotkeys. Definitely recommend that you go through, look at what's available, figure out ways that you can use these for your stream, customize these if you need to, and upgrade your streaming experience. I, again, I love that StreamYard has finally figured out a way to integrate Stream Deck with their service. This is going to be great for you guys that use StreamYard. Highly recommend this Stream Deck. So if you have any questions, make sure you throw them down in the comments below. If you have any questions about Stream Deck, about StreamYard, using it with, I just wanted to kind of keep this video short and simple to show you that initial setup. Highly recommend though that you go and you hook it up, you play around with it, figure out what works for you and your streams. This is a great option though, a great upgrade. Again, if you are interested in a Stream Deck, I think every streamer should have one. I do have down in the description of this video links to all three different stream decks. Again, I recommend at least the 15 key, the standard stream deck, definitely the 32 key stream deck XL if you want more buttons. So thank you so much for being here watching this video. Hopefully this video is going to help you figure out the stream deck with StreamYard. Again, it's a great option. Definitely want to use that. If there's anything that I can ever do for you in the future as far as content creation, one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you want to keep up with everything going on with Just Hit Record, check out my website, kenthecontentcoach.com. Everything that is going on will be linked from that site. I keep that updated daily. If you want to see most recent videos, if you want to see affiliate discount codes, I've got merchandise there, everything having to do with the channel, you'll find at that link. Additionally, if I can help you in any way, reach out to me on social media, Instagram, any of those. My email is ken at kenthecontentcoach.com. I would be more than happy to chat with you, help you in any way that I can. And again, if you're into this type of content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so that you will not miss a video and hit that thumbs up. Helps the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks once again for stopping by here. And until the next video, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remember, just hit record and we will see you with the next video.